for it, so. Oh, that'll be a fun video. <laughs> <laughs> a little nausea to begin your day. Okay. Uh, no. I'll tell you if I do. Okay, I think it's good. If it falls again, then you can chase it down. Hi, Nora. Hi, Austin. Okay, I hope we're you're going enjoying over. Hawaii. Yeah, we're going over. Well, we're stuck in the cold. <laughs> hey, at least it's not like dumping snow like it is for our <coughs> Oh, they got school off today. I wish, I wish we had snow. I know. It was, supposed to, it was supposed to snow on New Year's night. Yeah. Did it? It, it snowed yesterday in Philly. Okay, yeah. well, we're yeah. all yeah. talking already. Um, so we're on That's practice problems. We're going to go over the first eight. Um, and the first one I'm going to talk about before we do it, because nobody knows how to do this yet, but they probably do. You probably do. Um, give the chemical formulas for the following compounds. <coughs> Potassium sulfate is <coughs> the first one. So, if I'm going to make ions out of potassium and sulfate, then what would um, a potassium ion be like? So, what's the chemical symbol for potassium? K. Okay. K. And then, what would the charge on a potassium be? <laughs> well, on a potassium atom, it would be neutral, Negative. but potassium, <laughs> potassium ion. Is potassium a metal or a non-metal? Oh, it's, it's a metal. It's a metal. And if you look at the periodic table, which I don't have my big one, if you look, then you find potassium in column 1A. So that means how many electrons is it going to lose? One. One. It'll lose one electron because it's in column 1A, so it'll have a plus one charge. And then the sulfate ion, which you should have memorized, is what? SO4. SO4 with what charge? Negative. Two. Two minus. Okay. So, writing the chemical formula for an ionic compound with polyatomic ions involved is very easy. You just take the charges and you switch them. Okay? So, the plus one on the potassium gets put as the, co uh, the subscript of the sulfate. So, it's two minus gets put here. So, you're going to have two potassium atoms bonded to one sulfate ion. Okay? So, K2SO4 is potassium sulfate. It's just that easy, but you just have to memorize them so you can do it. So, Cameron, how would I write calcium nitrate? It's in um, parentheses and then it's very easy. Okay, so tell me first what the cation is, just so we break it down into happy little okay. steps. <coughs> the cation. So, calcium, what charge would a, a calcium ion be? And a nitrate ion? Uh, what charge? Negative. Negative. Negative one. Okay, so calcium nitrate is a calcium cation. The positive ion, um, ion is the cation. Calcium, since it's in column two of the periodic table, it will lose two electrons and have a plus two charge. And a nitrate ion, you memorized NO3 with a 1 minus charge. So you switch the charges. Calcium will have one atom because the nitrate has one charge. And the nitrate will have two of those polyatomic ions bonding to one calcium because it gets this two. So uh, when you uh, have more than one polyatomic ion in a um, compound, then you need to use parentheses to show that it's not just two O3s, but also two uh, nitrogens. So, Ryan, how many calcium atoms are in calcium nitrate? One molecule of it. Hmm. One. One. How many nitrogen atoms? Two. Two, because of the subscript here. And how many oxygen atoms? Six. Six. Okay, so that's just the really, really fast way of doing that. Um, and let's see, Justin, magnesium carbonate. Changing color. Uh, you want me to break it down again? Yes, okay. cation. So uh, magnesium is, that was Mg. Mm -hmm. uh, Periodic po table. Positive. One positive. Okay, positive. And carbonate. Uh, that's Isn't magnesium two positive? Yeah. Yep, or it is. No, or three. Yeah, it's two. It's two. It's in the second column right here. So it's two. Okay. And you have a periodic table on the test, so it should be pretty easy to get the cations. Okay. And uh, 
What was the next one? Carbonate. Carbonate. C O. Uh, negative. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Subscript. Uh. Oh man. Three. Okay. And what's the charge? Uh. Negative. Negative because they're all negative except all for. All negative but ammonium. All negative but ammonium. So. Then, how would you put them together? Uh, you switch them, right? Switch them. Okay, so, so Mg3, they're negative. It's a one. That's a one? Right, so you just So it's it. just that? Mm hmm And then CO2? I don't know. Then you just write the CO3, but you uh, use parentheses, uh, so that the two affects the entire thing. So, magnesium carbonate is Mg, and then two CO3s there. So MG, CO3, for the subscript of two. You have to use these parentheses, though, to show that both the... Um, now, the reason that you wouldn't write it like this, MG, C2, O6, is because that carbonate ion really does, it's covalently bonded. So this is totally oversimplified. But instead of being like an MG with like two C's and six oxygens sticking off of it, it really is <coughs> like an MG with a carbonate ion and another carbonate ion. So they stick together, so you keep them together like this instead of just writing them out like that. All right, now we're going to bore ourselves and turn off the camera. So. Yeah, it's really fall.